Hey everybody, Tanner here for PremiumBeat.com. If you've been looking at switching your editing software and Final Cut 10 is at the top of your list, then this Final Cut 10 Essential Series is gonna be perfect for you. In three parts, we're gonna walk through the interface, how to import, set up a project, how to edit a project, and most importantly, how to deliver a high quality project. So in this first series, we're gonna learn the difference between libraries, events, and projects, and how to import and organize your footage, all within Final Cut 10. Let's jump right in. All right, everybody, so here we are inside of Final Cut 10. And one of the first things, if you're moving over from another NLE like Premiere or Avid, is you just need to start to understand the terminology within Final Cut 10. So what Final Cut 10 has is libraries, events, and projects. So if you're coming over from Premiere, a library would be like a project. An event would be like a bin or folder. Then a project would be like your sequences. So to start a new project or library, we want to start a new library. So we come to file and we do new library. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our, we're going to come over here to our external drive and we are going to select our, where we want to save our file and we'll call this FPX essentials. And we'll save it there and great so we have our first library set up or project if we're talking in premiere terminology and so the next thing we want to do is we want to import our media so we can do that three ways we can either click this button here and go file import media or command i all right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna find our media right here. Our raw footage is here, and we're going to select all of this drone footage here. So what we can do is we're going to add this to our existing event, which automatically creates once you start your new library inside of Final Cut 10. And what you can do is you can either copy all your files to the library, and what this will do is it'll duplicate the files and place them on your external drive. So if you were tran or if you were importing from like a media card or something like that, you wouldn't want to do that. But since we already have the files on an external drive, we're going to leave them in place. And what this does is it won't copy the files anymore and give you that file redundancy and take up some of your space. Now what you can do here in your analyze videos, you can select things like balance your color, find people, but I usually like to do that on my own. And one of the great features about Final Cut 10 is the transcoding and the optimized and proxy media. So the optimized media will just convert it into a ProRes format that'll just play the best on the machine and is optimized for Final Cut 10. Or if you have large files, which we do here, we have 4K files, we can create a proxy media. Now this ProRes proxy will give you high resolution and high data rate files, considering that they're proxies. Or you can do something lower res like an H.264 file. And you can really fine tune what you want that proxy to be. So you can either do it, scale it the same as your source, 50%, 25%, 12.5%. And to get the greatest middle ground between a proxy that you're able to work with and you don't degrade your footage so much in the edit that you kind of lose it is 50%. And what you can do here is after you've selected all of this, you can go ahead and select import all. And you can see our footage is starting to come in here. And right here, this little section is your background task. Now what your background task are gonna show is everything that it's doing. So since it's transcoding proxies, you can see right there, it's transcoding our clips as we go down here. So as it's transcoding in the background, you'll still be able to come through here and view your footage, which is great. All right, so we can see here, we have our library, our FX, FCPX essentials, 
And then we also have our first event right here. And just to give you a little bit of a recap, an event is basically a folder or a bin. So what we can do here is we can just call this drone footage. And let's say we wanted to categorize this even more. And maybe we wanted to do, because we have drone footage of the Atlanta skyline here. Then we have drone footage of this school. Now what you would typically do in Premiere is you'd create a new folder, but in Final Cut Pro 10, you can just create a new, new event. And you can make sure you save it in your library. You can do Skyline. And if you want to, you can create a new project or sequence with that as well if you want to cut all of that together. All right, we can select the skyline footage in these clips and just drag it over here and there we go. And now that's organized within its own event here. If we want to, we have its own separate project. So, you know, we can just cut up the drone footage in this project, then bring it over to our main project. But you can see that we have our library here. We have our events here and we have a project within. So what we can do is we can either select each of these individual events and just get a more organized look at them, or we can just select the whole library and everything is there. So if we wanted to make a new project, that was our main project. We just go file, new, project. We can call this our main project. Call this our main sequence. All right, now that we have that ready, we have our main sequence ready to go. And here we can actually flip through our skyline and our main sequence here if we wanted to. And we are ready to start making our cuts within Final Cut 10, which we will explore in our next lesson. And that's our overview of the interface, import settings, and workflow of Final Cut 10. Be sure to tune in to our next episode where we learn how to edit footage within Final Cut 10. See you then.